But for more, let's cross live now to Brussels, where our correspondent Dave Keating is standing by. D Dave, just tell us why exactly this treaty is proving to be so controversial. Well, it's a general treaty, but for the moment it really concerns one man, who is Asadola Asadi, who was just sentenced to 20 years in prison last year uh, for his role in a failed 2018 bomb plot against an Iranian dissident group that was holding a rally outside Paris. Asadi was a Iranian diplomat here in Belgium. Now, that opposition group, which is the National Council of Resistance of Iran, is really decrying this treaty, saying that it is letting someone go who could have killed hundreds of people at that rally if this bomb plot had gone into effect. Uh, but on the other hand, this treaty would allow for the release of a Belgian aid worker who was detained in Iran in February, and possibly also a Swedish-Iranian academic who has been sentenced to death in Iran. That academic has ties to Belgian universities, so it's possible that both of those people could be released from Iran in exchange for Belgium's release of Assadi. But of course, that is something that makes the, uh, the Iranian resistance quite angry, and it also gives rise to concerns about the precedent this is setting for the future in terms of uh, how hostages are released and how hostages are taken. And Dave, on that point, some are worried that it might open the door to so-called hostage diplomacy. Tell us a little bit more about those concerns. Yeah, exactly. This is the warning here, uh, not just from the Iranian opposition, but from several academics as well who say, look, this could provide an incentive for Iran to uh, uh, inappropriately detain people, holding them as kind of bargaining chips if they want to get their own diplomats, diplomats back, their spies back, that they might increase the incentive for Iran or any other kind of rogue state to do so. Uh, so this is going to be a closely watched debate today. Now, th there has been a committee in the Belgian parliament that did already pass this earlier this month. And usually the full parliament goes the same way as these committees because the political makeup of the full parliament mirrors the, the makeup of the committees. But we'll see because there is a lot of media attention on this. This debate is going to be happening today and tomorrow. So we'll have to wait and see whether the full parliament votes the same way as the committee. And Dave, you'll be following those exchanges for us today and into Wednesday. That's our Brussels correspondent, Dave Keating.